Welcome to my Beat Laboratory. Thanks for watching this video of the comparison of the Mavic Air 2 and Air 2S. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I am Alan all over. Uh, I like to make travel videos, vlogs, things of that nature. Um, I like to review things once in a while occasionally. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, this was the comparison of the Mavic Air 2 and Air 2S video drones. Uh, I don't know why I said video drones. They're pretty sure they're all video drones. But anyways, uh, I had both drones for about a year apiece. I had the Air 2 for a year and then the Air 2S just under a year. Uh, in my opinion, it is worlds different drones. Uh, they come in the same form factor, they look the same, but picture and video quality has completely changed in the two. That Air 2S um, sensor size has made like unbelievable difference in the video quality, especially for low light. That's the biggest difference in the two. God damn, why does my battery keep dying? All right, all right, I'm back. Okay. Anyways, as far as the two drones go, uh, the comparison between the two is really not even fair. That sensor size is really what's making that, that difference between the two. In my opinion, the, the flight performance is near identical, although with the Air 2S, I feel like I've gotten a lot of air messages. There's been times where like the gimbal is either stuck or it doesn't fly straight. I don't know why that is. I've updated it. I've you know, recalibrated, I've done everything that you're supposed to do, and I keep struggling with problems. I keep saying contact DJI. They have like really weird hours. It's really hard to get a hold of them. Uh, aside from that, I mean, it still works. I just struggle with having like some sort of issue every single time I fly it. Aside from that only downside with the Air 2S, uh, it's a phenomenal drone. I highly recommend anybody that's like looking to get into drones, whether it's for, you know, aerial photography or videos, or if you just want a drone to fly around, that's like easy to fly. You don't have to worry about crashing. Sensors in it are not phenomenal. Uh, that is one thing I guess I can touch on is the Air 2. Uh, I remember on my honeymoon, I actually got it stuck in a tree. I paid like a guy $100. We're in the middle of nowhere in North Carolina. I paid a guy $100 to come get my drone out of a tree. Um, it was probably like 50, 60 feet up. There's no way I was going to get it. <laughs> I think he was actually a lineman and he came like after his job. Uh, I just found him like online and he came and grabbed the drone. Uh, so that was a pretty bad experience. And... Uh, there's actually one time where I almost lost it in Lake Powell. Uh, the drone started freaking out when it ran out of battery. Uh, Performance-wise, I think they're identical. So, like I said, the the original Air 2, I've had problems with it as far as the sensors. I think there's actually two additional sensors on the Air 2S. I haven't actually crashed the Air 2S, if I remember correctly. There's been times where I've come close. Uh, sensors have stopped it. Right now, I'm just struggling with the problem where I keep getting error messages that say contact DJI, which it's just incredibly hard to get a hold of them. Um, I'm really not too worried about it because it seems like it's only like every fifth or sixth time I go to fly, I have some sort of issue. It's a bit of a nuisance, but it's not the end of the world. It still flies. It still works. It just does some weird shit all the time um, or sometimes, I guess. But between the two drones, uh, the, our video really isn't even necessary. I just more or less wanted to show the clips that I have uh, from the Air 2 and the Air 2S just to show that comparison on how far drones have come in like the last two years. I think did a phenomenal drone is now like, you know, within reach of like the everyday consumer. I think that you get amazing video quality out of it. There are some clips that I have, specifically this one. This is probably my favorite clip. Um, this is flying over a lake in Iceland and it, a couple of sheep like running in the background. They stay in frame perfectly. There's no haze. Uh, there's no extra noise in the shot. I just think that uh, that's one of the best drone shots that I've ever got. And this, this camera really did a good job of capturing that. So I think the Air 2S, like one of the biggest things to it is just the compactness to it. So it's ability to be able to fit inside of my camera bag so I can take it with me everywhere. I don't have to like say, oh, should I take this lens or should I take my drone out or what do I have to leave behind? I think it's the perfect size for, you know, still getting phenomenal video quality out of it, but not having to lug around, you know, the Mavic Pro or even a bigger drone yet or even one of the old Phantoms. Uh, but yeah, I mean... There's really not much else to touch on. I mean, it's a phenomenal drone. If you're considering purchasing it, uh, I highly recommend it. I'm not gonna like put a link down below for you to buy or anything like that. I'm not trying to make any money off this video. Uh, I really just wanted to showcase what I thought were my best drone clips in the last two years with both the Mavic Air 2 and Air 2S. If you did like the video though, I would appreciate if you would like and comment and possibly even subscribe. I wouldn't mind that. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, if you have other videos that you'd like to see in the future or any places you'd like to see uh, us go in the future and, you know, take videos of, please comment down below. Let us know. Uh, we're, we're open to, to going to new places. We do have another trip already booked in a couple months. So pretty excited for that. Um, but I'm sure we'll bring you guys along, kind of show you where we're going. Should be awesome. Thanks for watching. Peace.